responsible AI. It is more about responsible use or responsible deployment of the class of technologies that we call AI nowadays. Right? It could be speech, it could be language, you are look, hearing a lot about chat GPT nowadays, but that's not the only AI that is out there. AI is being used for deciding on your loan applications, AI is used in radiology, diagnosing diseases and so on and so forth. So there are many aspects to using this technology right? in which we have to think about not just the uh, the computer science aspect of it, not just the IT aspect of it, but talk to the domain experts, talk to people in policy, talk to people in law and so on and so forth. So the whole idea behind responsible AI research is to do uh, have this multi-stakeholder discussions and multi-stakeholder uh, brainstorming in order to arrive at principles by which AI systems can operate. There are many ways in which you can think of it, right? So defense, has, defense doesn't mean just to decide which enemy to fire on. That is not the only decision that you make in defense, right? So you have so much work that needs to be done in terms of logistics, in terms of resource management, in terms of surveillance, and all of these, right? AI technologies can certainly help a lot. So there are certain, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, problems in defense applications where you have to be careful about using AI, autonomous weapons, for example, right? Where the cost of an AI decision going wrong is, is tremendous, especially in, uh, you know, in terms of human life cost, right? In such places, using uh, AI, you have to be very careful. Primarily, AI is going to be a significant productivity assistant tool, right? So I can think of it as you know productivity suit on steroids, right? It's going to help you do your job much, much more efficiently than you're able to do now. Some sectors where AI can uh, do the job of a human being, right? It's not at the level where I can trust the AI to go out, right? And then solve the problem itself and completely replace a human being, right? So on and so forth, can use the AI to generate multiple versions of the text in an efficient manner, right? And then instead of taking 10 days to write an article, can do this in a couple of hours. AI is not going to replace humans, right? It's just going to make humans do their jobs more efficiently, right? There are many ways in which AI can help in the legal system. So there are, uh, you know, ways in which you can do research, right? So AI can help you pull out all the relevant cases, right? And uh, the AI can help you write summary of the judgments, right? And it can help you pick out important points in the arguments and that need to go into the judgment and things like that. But is the AI sound enough that it can actually make the final judge? Well, this workshop is just to, you know, tell people that the center is up and running and to make uh, increase awareness among the various stakeholders.